Tutoring is a journey, and like most journeys, it helps to have a roadmap. Lesson plans are that roadmap because our approach is not one that's scripted. We know that each learner has their own needs, so it's up to each tutor to use their knowledge and skills to meet the needs of the learner with whom they're working. Read, Write, Serve provides a lesson planning tool to help make planning simple and effective. The Read, Write, Lesson Plan is organized around the phases of the reading process before, during, and after reading and learning. As you can see, the Read, Write, Serve lesson plan is simple, but it does follow a structure. Let's take a closer look at each phase of planning, before, during, and after, and consider strategies for helping learners. Reading actually begins before we read the words on the page. Proficient readers look over a text before they read. They look at pictures, make predictions, and consider what they already know. Tutors can help struggling readers by having them pay attention to the text. Look over the book or text and get them to talk about what they already know about the text or topic. Talk about the pictures, identify a few key words, and make some predictions. Here are some strategies that tutors can use as they plan for the pre-reading and learning part of the lesson. Preview the book by doing a book, walk, or picture talk. Look at the cover of the book and the text and talk about it. Turn through the pages and talk about the book and if there are pictures, use those to make predictions about the story. Ask questions like, what's happening here? And what do you think is going to happen next? Start a KWL chart to find out what a learner already knows and wants to know about a topic. Help them make connections between the text and what they already know. Reading is an active process and successful readers monitor their reading and have strategies for dealing with challenges like new and unknown words or when they don't know what's going on. Struggling readers often lack those strategies, so tutors need to guide learners as they read. However, it's a balancing act. As tutors, we need to support the learner, but not jump in too quickly to help. As the learner reads, let them reach logical stopping places like the end of a sentence or paragraph. Tutors can help, but before you give that help, let the learner reach a logical stopping place, and then, if they struggled with words, have them go back and reread. If the mistakes continue, ask the learner questions like, does that make sense, or what can you do? Give the learner a chance to fix the mistakes and then help if they can't do it on their own. Here are some strategies tutors can use in the during reading phase of the lesson. Share the reading. Use a partner reading strategy like Say Something, in which the tutor reads a little and says something, and the learner reads a little and says something. You can make predictions, or comment on the text, or clarify something. For more struggling or emergent readers, you can use echo reading, in which the tutor reads a section of the text first, and then the learner rereads it. Reread for fluency. Many struggling readers lack fluency. Their reading is slow and halting, and they make mistakes. Rereading is the best way to build fluency. For students who need to work on fluency, have them reread sentences and paragraphs, and have them reread books as you work with them over time. Jot down a few notes as you read. Have the learner use sticky notes or something like double entry journal as they read. If the learner struggles with writing, the tutor can do the writing, but the le learner needs to do the thinking. Most importantly, let the learner read and try to get them to work out their problems, but don't allow them to get frustrated during reading. Reading is about meaning and comprehending. Capable readers think about what they've read and even organize that information. After reading, we want to help the learner take stock of what they've read. Here are some strategies you can use. If you started with a KWL, finish it up by adding to the section on what the learner learned, the L section of the chart. The tutor or learner can write down new information and together they can talk about it. Fill out a 3-2-1 chart and help the student with comprehension. Do a quick write or a journal entry. Writing is a great way to build comprehension and improve writing skills. Don't worry about grammar, just have the learner get his or her ideas on paper. Teach a mini lesson. Let's take a look at some mini lesson ideas. Many lessons are just what they sound like, a short lesson to teach the learner something they need to know to improve their reading. Tutors can come up with their own ideas for many lessons by paying attention to the learner as he or she reads. For example, if the learner lacks fluency, then the tutor can provide some extra practice on rereading. If the learner struggles reading basic sight words like a, some, mother, many, or other common words, then the tutor can make flashcards or go with sight word bingo to practice these. If the tutor notices that the learner needs practice with word families or patterns of words, words that share common roots or have patterns like I-G-H-T, A-T-E, 
A-G-E-A-N-I-L-L or I-C-K. The tutor can do a mini lesson on these. Mini lessons can also focus on teaching a few vocabulary words. It's important though to teach just a few words at a time and to teach high utility words, words the learner is likely to encounter again in reading. The Read Write Serve Tutor Handbook and the Read Write Serve Tutoring website, tutoring.uncc.edu, have more information about mini lesson ideas. You'll also find some sample lesson plans and strategies you can use throughout the lesson cycle. In part two of this video on planning, we'll take a look at some lesson planning examples.